Welcome back to C++ video. And today we're going to be asking the user for the amount of money and cents. And then we're going to output that amount using the fewest possible coins. And then we have to use like the correct singular and plural names. So like one quarter, two quarters. An example would be 45 cents. That would be one quarter. And then two dimes because it's like plural. So first we could define some variables. We could say in dollar, I set that equal to 100 because we're working in terms of cents. In quarter would be 25. And dime would be 10. And, then, and nickel would be 5. And then we're going to have a variable called int cents, which is going to hold our user input. And then we could say cn cents, just to get user input. So cents would hold like 45. And then we're going to have some more variables, but these variables are actually going to hold however many, like however much we have an amount. So we could say num num dollar so say num dollar equals one that's how many dollars we have num quarter num dime and then num nickel and we'll have another variable called cents left those are all the variables we need for this program okay, so we can actually now start calculating how many dollars uh, quarters nickels we have so we could say num dollar equals our user input cents divided by dollar. So if they enter like 120 cents, that means num dollar would be one because 120 divided by 100 would make it would get you at least one dollar. And then we could calculate the remainder inside of the cents left variable. So it would be pretty much the same thing. It'd be cents left divided by dollar but instead of division we're going to do modules and that would calculate how much like the remainder is and stored inside cents left now we can calculate the number of quarters number of quarters equals cents left and then we could divide that by quarter so if there's enough cents left to equal 25 num quarters is going to go up by one but if there's more we could calculate cents left equals Cents left modulus quarters because we just want the remainder. And then we can pretty much do the same thing for like num dimes, num nickels. So let's do that. So num dime is going to equal cents left, and copy and paste it, divided by dime. So if there's enough cents left for like a dime, if there's 10, num dime will be 1. But if there's a little more, we have to calculate the cents left which equals the same thing, but just modulus, because modulus, modulus just focus on the remainder. And then we do the same thing for num nickel. And then num nickel equals cents left, divide that by nickel. And then the same thing, cents left equals this right here, but just, just with the modulus operator. And then we don't have to do that for cents left because we know how many cents are left. So now that we have that, we can actually start doing the math. But before we do that, let's have a condition. We could say if cents equals equals zero, we could just print out, we could say C out, and then we could say no change. Because if it's zero, they really can't do anything. There's no coins to represent zero. Okay, let's do a test run, see what that happens. So we enter zero, no change. Okay. And I'm not gonna be using like little curly brackets. You could, but you don't have to, but it's only one line under the if statement. And then we could have another if statement. We could say if num dollar equals equals one. If that's the case, there's only one dollar. So we could say C out, we're gonna print the variable num dollar so whatever's in there we're gonna print it and in there we're gonna say dollar and we end it with the new line because if, if it's only one it's not gonna be like uh, plural but we could say else if I guess else if num dollar greater than zero 
if it's greater than zero, that means there's multiple dollars. So we could say we print the actual variable and it would be dollars. And then we can pretty much copy and paste this for all our other like for all our other like um coins. So we could say num quarter. If num quarter equals one, we're still gonna print out num like the actual like number of quarters, but it's gonna be singular. Else if num quarter equals more than one, we're gonna print out quarters. And then the same thing for um, num dimes and num nickels. It's literally gonna copy and paste this. Where's my num nickels variable? Or num dimes. Num dimes equals one, we're printing out the like the actual variable with only one dime. But if num dimes equals more than one, we're still gonna print out the actual variable. But instead dimes. Copy and paste this. Say num nickels. Num nickels equals one. Still printing out num nickels variable. But we're only saying there's one nickel. But if there's more than one, still printing out the variable. But in this case, there's more than one nickel, so it'd be tinkles. And then we're pretty much we have to do the same thing to our last variable, which would be cents left. Something cents left equals the one. We're gonna print it out. And then we're going to say penny. But if cents left equals more than one, we're still going to print out. But we're going to say pennies. And let me zoom it out because it looks like we're done. We just run it, see if we made any mistakes. So for our example, we had 45. So let's run 45. One quarter, two dimes. Let's do, let's run it again. Let's do 100. That should just be one dollar. One more time. 200. Two dollars. Let me do my area code, which would be 209. Where'd that come? 209. One dollar, one nickel, four four pennies. No, two dollars, one nickel, four pennies. I almost thought the output was wrong. I just read it wrong. So it looks like that's working. Let me put the code back on screen. Here's the code. I'll see if I can go through slowly, slowly, and then um, yeah, if it if you enjoyed or just helped you at all, just leave a like and subscribe.